guys, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video. And uh, as you can see here, it is a F6F, so a Grumman F6F Hellcat. Um, it's a pretty generic uh, Chinese El Cheapo brand. I think this cost me 30 bucks. It's got no real details on the box or anything. It's all in Chinese and everything like that. So, but um, you know, we know the the F6 Grumman Hellcat is an American carrier-based fighter that was introduced in 1943. So we'll just get this bad boy out. And it was to replace the um, F4 Wildcat. Um, they did, uh, you know, sometimes being called the Big Brother. <laughs> so, but both US Navy and Marines used this, as well as other Allied countries. And um, they, there was about, I think, 12,275 of these bad boys built between uh, 42 and 45. So, try and pop this out. Um, and we'll just put that on the deck there. We'll just. So as you can see, it's, you know, it seems to be a reasonable little aircraft, um, as one flies overhead. <laughs> uh, some special effects, nah, <laughs> there was a plane actually flying overhead. But, um, you know, it does, the, prop do, the prop does spin nice and free. Um, it's got some, you know, reason, reasonable panel details, um, some reasonable panel lines. Just, I mean, this was uh, just, yeah, $30 special um, off eBay. It doesn't have a huge weight to it, so it's it is light compared to other uh, models that I felt. Um, this is well, this is my first Hellcat I've opened, so um, it'll be interesting to see how it compares to other manufactured Hellcats in weight wise. So um, there is no assembly; it's all pre-assembled. Yeah, it's got that point for your for your stand and everything like that. And I mean, these were you know a rugged American fighter during World War Two, so they uh, you know. They could take take a bit of a panty, and they were actually able to outperform the um, the zeros so uh, that they would, would find themselves up against. But um, yeah, I think they destroyed over, geez, over five thousand enemy aircraft in the Pacific Theater alone. So they were quite an effective aircraft. And um, you know, this is a, you know, I think this is a pretty cool cool little looking unit, cool little cool little bit of kit. But, um, you know, let's do the sausage finger test. It sits in the hand nice. It's, it is not a small aircraft either. It is reasonably sized for a fighter. So, but, you know, it was very effective. It was a, it was a good fighter. This one's actually got an ordinance of rockets. So, um, but, yeah, you know, I think it's uh, pretty reasonable. It's not hugely detailed. It's just minimal sort of uh, colour on it, minimal paintwork and everything like that. Um, it does... I'll just place the model down for one second. It does come with a um, pretty generic sort of stand, which does have some little details of the aircraft. Um, it's just straightforward, click, chuck that in, and straightforward into that little hole there. And uh, bang, she's done. So, um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool uh, for what it is and for the price. Good, good start off um, for your collection, 30 bucks. Um, I, I definitely think it's you know, not not a too bad rendition of the uh, Grumman F6 Hellcat. So yeah, but uh, oh you know as per usual you know the deal. I will chuck up some stills without these sausage fingers in the way after the conclusion of this video. And um, if you can give us a like if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and even subscribe to the channel that'll be fantastic. Um, now I'll, I'll leave it short and sweet with this one. Um, so yeah this is the Grumman F6 F Hellcat um, in 172nd scale in die cast uh, by a, f a fairly generic sort of um, a Chinese brand no, no real brandy on this one so yeah all right guys thank you very much for watching and taking the time to spend it with me and um, have a great rest of your day okay cheers